Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetShoe.com and today we are here at the HTC event and we have the HTC Desire 616 with us. This is how the device looks like. This device looks exactly the same in terms of the design language as you might have seen the Desire 516. So this is the 616 which looks, uh, in terms of the design language it looks exactly the same. The kind of build quality it has and the material which has been used is also same. You have a glossy back cover which will get a lot of fingerprints and scratches as well over time which is definitely not a good thing and you do not get a flip cover within the package you have the power and sleep key and the volume rocker over there with the kind of a matte finishing material which we have on the edges which actually will give you a better grip of the device because the glossy back cover will definitely make this device quite slippery when it comes to the rear camera the rear camera on this device is an 8 megapixel camera over there it is an auto focus camera it can record high definition video as well and you have led flash as well on the top you have the 3.5 m audio jack and again on this side you have the power and sleep key and the volume rocker at the bottom bottom you have the micro USB port for data syncing and charging you have the primary microphone over there you have a little linen to remove the back cover you have a loudspeaker over there at the back side and you have the HTC branding over there in the middle which looks very nice and again when we talk about this side this side we have no connectivity no ports nothing and I can remove the back cover on this device to show you the phone from the back side so once we remove the back cover we can see that we have the battery over there the battery on this device is a 2000 milliampere hour battery it is again not going to be very huge but should be decent for this 5 inch display phone you have 150 gram of the weight approximately for this device which is fairly light i would say and then you have an octa core processor inside which is the mediatek 6592 chipset which is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz as per them and we will test it once we do the full review normally the mediatek 6592 chipset is either clocked at 1.7 gigahertz or 2 gigahertz whereas this one is clocked at 1.4 gigahertz and they say that they have actually optimized this device to make it uh, work on this particular frequency especially the cpu to save some power and to enhance the overall performance of the device we will test that once we do the review full review when we talk about the back we have the micro SD memory card over here to expand the storage and we, we will also talk about whether you can actually install applications on the micro SD card or not you do have the sim card slot over here which will accept a normal size sim card and here you have another sim card slot for the normal size sim card as well so this is the kind of connectivity you will get especially on the back side and again in terms of the overall build quality and the material the device looks good it does not feel cheap it looks good it looks nice the front also has the speakers over there which is actually only one single speaker so it does not have HTC boom sign boom sound other uh, unlike the other HTC devices which we have seen you have touch capacitor button which are there within the display so they will take some part of the screen evolution you have the HTC being written over there I would have liked if they have actually placed the touch capacitor button which is uh, there in the in the body of the phone which uh, because we do have good amount of space over there but still they have decided to put the touch capacitor button within the display I think to save some cost you have the earpiece over there and when it comes to the loudspeaker the loudspeaker is actually at the back side so there is no loudspeaker on the front the loudspeaker is actually at the back side and whenever you place the device like this on a table the loudspeaker will get blocked and the sound will get muffled a bit that is something which will happen as far as the front camera is concerned the front camera is a 2 megapixel camera and this is a fixed focus camera you can record high definition video at 720p whereas the rear camera can record high definition video both at 720p as well as at 1080p the kind of build quality you have for this device is decent enough you can say but you will have a lot of fingerprints and scratches which you will see over time at the back side because the back cover is again glossy and there is no flip cover within the package so in terms of the weight it does not feel very heavy but again it is approximately 150 gram in terms of the weight which is again not too heavy but again kind of average as compared to the other phones when it comes to the connectivity i can correct one thing that when it comes to connectivity one of the sim card slot is a regular size sim card this is the sim card slot one and the sim card slot two will be a micro sim and you do have 3g connectivity on the sim card one whereas you do not have 3g connectivity on the sim card 2 the sim card 2 will support 2g connectivity only and when it comes to the ram you have 1 gb of ram and internal storage on this device is 4 gb which is kind of low this device has been priced for a price of approximately 16,000 rupees so you can say this device is fairly cheap in the market whenever it comes out it will be available from tomorrow i guess it will be available online as well as offline channels both so you can buy it from anywhere when it comes to the internal storage the internal storage is kind of low for this price because you can actually get much higher storage uh, on other phones which have the similar hardware you do have wireless display supported uh, you have other toggles over here for the Wi-Fi Bluetooth GPS and other things and you do have support for automatic brightness as well you do have proximity and emit light sensors over there which will make sure that you have these functionalities when it comes to the version of Android you will get 4.2.2 again not KitKat is running on this device so you will get Jelly Bean only again this one is upgradable to KitKat as per the information which we have but we will see when it will get upgraded we do not have any timeline for that 
when we talk about the storage i can show you the storage scenario as well so storage is something which is kind of disappointing on this device because you have only 4 gb of storage on this device and out of which approximately 1.73 is right now available we have not installed app any applications or game so with the default applications and games the kind of storage you will get is going to be 1.98 gb and as of now 1.73 gb is available and one thing which is good about this device and this is a good news especially for people who would like to consider this one is that you do have the option of installing applications on the sd card because you can change the default write disk that means you can that means you can actually install applications on the sd card and we will confirm that once we do the full review of this device when it comes to the audio profiles you do have the additional options over there to enhance the overall quality sound quality of sound from the earphones as well as from the loudspeakers so you can do that for both of these things which is there under the audio profiles when it comes to the display i can show you the display settings as well so when it comes to display you do have support for automatic brightness as well which is good and when it comes to wallpaper static wallpapers are definitely supported but you do have support for live wallpapers as well the kind of build quality and the design it has is again not too different from the HTC Desire 516 this one and HTC Desire 516 will exactly look like the same but again the kind of features you get on the kind of hardware you have on this one is definitely better than the 516 which we have in the market and again this one is slightly higher in terms of the price and you are getting an octa core processor on this one if you plan to buy this so when it comes to the portable wifi hotspot you do have that as well supported so you have tethering and portable wifi hotspot option supported and you have also support for bluetooth tethering and usb tethering is also supported on this device which is a good thing when we talk about the location access you do have location access supported as well so that means you can use this device for gps navigation without any issues which is definitely a good thing and it will give you a lot of functionality when it comes to using this device for gps navigation it should not be a problem and when we talk about uh, the dual sim manager you do have a dual sim manager over there under settings which will definitely help you when it comes to the phone dialer you have a phone dialer over there which is a kind of a stock phone dialer and again it does i think it does give you okay it does not give you the option of making a video call so the phone dialer does not allow you to make a video call when it comes to the messaging ui the messaging ui is again stock android as you can see but the kind of keyboard you have is the htc sense ui keyboard so again there are uh, some changes in this device as far as ui is concerned because htc has given the sense ui to an extent on this device uh, by calling it as htc signature so you do have that ui uh, being uh, given at different different places so which is good thing when we talk about the keyboard this is how the keyboard look like you can actually type on this keyboard without any issues on this 5 inch display phone you can always type in the portrait mode or in the landscape mode as well without any issues but you do not have swipe to type so swipe to type is not supported which is something which we do not like as far as ui is concerned you also have blink feed so blink feed is also there however it is not the same blink feed which you will get on the htc other phones or the or the other htc high end phones this is the kind of a replication of the blink feed but it does give you the options of adding your local sources you can actually add local sources from where you would like to track the news or any content which you would like to follow from those particular uh those those particular sources you do have htc zoe mode also support okay this is not the zoe mode but zoe mode icon and then you have video highlights which is again a kind of an animation mode which is supported within the camera ui so let me just take a photo of my iphone 5 and the flower over there So let me just take this photo as of now. This is how the camera UI look like. I can show you the camera UI interface. You do have HDR mode supported. You have a panorama mode. Pan panorama mode also supported. Beautification mode is there, and then you have this mode, which is called the live mode. So you have all these modes supported. I can show you the front camera UI. So this is how the front camera view will look like. Uh, again, the front camera is a two megapixel camera. It can do a good quality of video chat, but again, not high definition video chat. This is how the video feed will look like. You can do. Uh, good decent quality video chat but you should have good amount of light as well and it should not be against light it is a fixed focus camera so you do not have focus although you do have face detection on the front camera which is a good thing and this is how the rear camera will look like as you can see i can show you the settings for the rear camera and the rear camera can record high definition video at uh, 720p as well at 100p you have hdr mode also supported face detection is also there voice ca capture is also there let me just take a photo from this device as of now and i can show you this photo later on. On. let me just turn off the flash so i have turned off the flash and i can take the photo now so the photo has been taken as of now and this is how it will look like as far as the kind of details and the clarity you will get in the colors 
as you can see so this looks i would say uh, as compared to the original object which i see so this one is slightly brighter the colors are decent but the details are something which is not too great so details is not very fine but you do have fine amount of details on this device as far as camera is concerned when it comes to the uh, taking this photo of my iphone 5 i can take another photo so that i can show you the quality this time as well and this time the subject is kind of closer it should be better so i can take this photo right now and once i do a tap to focus i can take this photo and once i have taken the photo i can show you the same so this is how the photo look like the kind of details you get on this photo is definitely better as compared to the previous one and the color protection is also good enough so this looks like a decent device the kind of hardware specification it has the kind of overall value for money this device is going to provide especially in case you would like to buy a phone uh, which should be branded from HTC uh, this one is uh, the one you can have with octa core cpu you do have addi additional connectivity options as well like bluetooth 4.0 is there wi-fi is there although you do not have nfc on this device and you also have HTC blink feed ui which is a kind of a customized ui which is running on top of android so these are the kind of application which you will get on this device installed so you have gallery you have browser you have other things the backup restore you also have a file manager all these things you will get it is running on the mediatek 6582 chipset and we will confirm whether this device is actually clocked at 1.4 gigahertz or not so that's all from us thanks for watching this video you can like this video if this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you